Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of our Let's Play Minecraft series where we're playing Ultra Hardcore. I hope everybody is having a great day today. I'm doing fantastic. I've just been in the end shooting off of these, uh, I guess these end seeds. I'm not really sure what they're called. These are chorus flowers. I think they're more seeds though, wouldn't you guys agree? Anyways, before we get into today's episode, let's go ahead and do our question of the day. My question for you is how do you guys feel about this series versus Hermitcraft. Do you prefer Hermitcraft or do you prefer single player? And in general, as a as a way that you play Minecraft, do you guys like single player over multiplayer? Let me know down in the comment section below. Quick announcement, guys. I have two uh, or one shirt, two different colors available. I just launched today. You can check out the pic on the screen and check out the link in the description if you're interested in those. I gotta thank Max for designing this for me. He is a genius with the art pen. Anyways, so last time we left off, we got our elytra and it is time to go fight the dragon. So if you remember, we have a role in place once we fight and kill Al. Okay, well, I should probably go ahead and eat an apple then. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to just run for a second and see if I can lose some durability or health durability. That way I can eat a stew. Um, if we beat the dragon, then we will be able to turn health regen back on. And that's going to be a huge help because I don't want to keep eating mysterious stews, suspicious stews. Pretty sure those are called suspicious deuce. Yeah. Anyways, um, so I want to go fight the dragon. This shouldn't be too hard of a fight. Having flight before we fight him will, or her will make this really, really easy. And I am just not losing any saturation whatsoever. So, you know what? We're just going to go do it. <clears throat> so I do have a pretty solid game plan for this fight. We are going to take care of the... Uh, the, like the towers that have the rims around them with the, the bars, like the guarded ones first. And I'm probably just going to use my bow on the ground for that. I love how once you get close to it, like it just automatically turns to this. Um, Got to remember that I don't have health regen. Okay, so this is a pretty easy shot. You just come to the corner and shoot through. Just like, like not like that, Jevin. Like that, there we go. I think there's only two of them. No, there's only two of them. Okay, well, that should be pretty simple then. So the only thing we really got to watch out for is the magic shots that he, that she shoots because those things are super deadly. All right. So now we should be able to just fly around and take care of all of these, no problem. There we go. All right. This is, this is the reason why I got the Elytra first, like literally, because <laughs> this is so easy. Okay. Don't want to get too close to them. I'm not trying to take any damage right now. Okay, is any left? One over there. I think that's all of them, guys. I think. Looks like all of them. Okay. So now, uh, I would imagine that the dragon is probably going to try to land soon. But what we can do is we can sort of fly around it. Wow, they, he's like really trying to... She is trying to hit me. There we go. All right. I don't want to get too close, though, because if she does hit me, that's going to take a lot of health. All right, so let's go ahead and land. I'm going to show you a, a new strat that I found out while learning to speed run. Oh, my God, the noise. Let's uh, options sound bosses off. There we go. So underneath and hit. Oh, OK. Well, that's a thing. Let's go ahead. I remember, I just remembered you can't jump while you do that. Oopsies. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I'm pretty sure I just aggroed an uh, Enderman. So that's pretty cool. I got that going for me. All right. Well, we almost died ultra hardcore at the dragon fight. That would have sucked. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe I almost died right there. All right. <clears throat> let's get some dragon shots in here. All right. Let's try to get out of the way there. I think I'm going to go ahead and need another apple. I've probably, like I said, I've probably got some Enderman aggroed at me. Um, so we got to be careful landing. I could probably just fill it with water, but um, it might honestly just be best to do this fight from the sky. Here we go. Let's get up a little bit higher. As long as we can just get shots in, I don't think it's going to take that long. This, we got a pretty powerful bow. I spent a lot of time enchanting just trying to get this bow, so... There we go. 
Oh, that hurts. I think she's about, okay. So she's definitely about to land whenever she has those particles. Let's go ahead and see if there's any Enderman aggroed at us really fast. Stand right here. Looks like there is. I'm gonna have a, a pretty hard time trying to kill these guys. Um, I thought my uh, never mind. I think it's my bow that has flame. Okay, so let's just be careful here not to die. Try to kill these guys as fast as possible. It's weird not hearing sounds. We got to be careful for the magic shots though, because I can't hear them now. All right. Should be good to go. Kill this guy. Oh, come on. Like, did he die? No, no, didn't die. The water <laughs> keeps making him teleport. <sighs> how many, how much health does this guy have? He's like Iron Man, dude. I think he died. Nope. I cannot hit him. Where'd he go? Is he dead now? Nope, still not dead. There we go. All right, back to work. Now I feel more comfortable. Let's get in the air. Definitely feel more comfortable inside of the flight. That's for sure. All right, there's the dragon. Ow. Mm, I might just land for a minute. It might be easier. It's weird not hearing noises. Wow, I'm missing every shot. Okay, I can't I can't do it without the noise on guys. That's weird. I'm gonna get a little bit of dragon sounds going. Might be landing soon. Talk about missing every single shot. Looks like she's gonna land now. There we go. So now I can show you the strat without dying. Okay. So go underneath. Go in the back right here underneath do not jump oh. what's going on okay well the dragon's glitching out <laughs> couldn't see her oh my god that's so sketchy well anyways let's go ahead and finish this thing it's so laggy right now i wonder why it's so laggy for Okay. And oh, I thought that was it. There we go. Awesome. Okay, guys, dragon fight has been completed. So now that means that um, there's no really. Oh, hold on, that's really loud. There's um, let that do its thing. There's no real way to reset uh, your health without cheating. So what we're gonna do, first off, is we're gonna collect all this delicious, delicious XP. There we go. And then we're gonna go open to land, allow cheats, and then we're gonna do uh, game rule. And we gotta go all the way down to the bottom. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Natural region, true. So now that I have beaten the dragon, we have agreed to our terms of turning the health back on. So now we're still playing hardcore, but we have health regen, which is kind of fantastic. I like it a lot. Anyways, we're gonna do some more stuff today. So let's go ahead and get back into the overworld. All right, guys, so I am in the overworld. I've been flying around for a while and I actually found somewhere that I wanted to live. Look at all of these beautiful mountains. We've got a jungle around here somewhere. There's the jungle. These mountains just go for forever. So I thought this would be like kind of the perfect place to get our first starter base going. And I'm pretty excited about it. So I've already collected some wood. Uh, I got to find it again. Where'd it go? I think it's over here. <laughs> I lost it. Okay. So I've already collected some wood and I found like this spot right here was kind of perfect. So I have this idea for like kind of a walk-in sort of not even a kind of closed base but more of like an overhead and then ha it kind of comes out and we can just like walk up and go through maybe a fence or a door or something. And then we can have like a mine in the back. I think that's going to work out pretty well. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I think the first thing we need to do is kind of figure out the dimensions of this thing. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks right now. 10 if we go there. So that's 11. And then that would be 12. 
and then that would be 13. So I think we're going to do 13. Remember, we always want to do odd numbers because even numbers in Minecraft are kind of the devil. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I, I don't want this to look like super tore down. So I'll kind of build it up just a little bit, right? Like that actually would probably be fine. We'll get this all replaced and then let's get rid of some of this over here. There we go. Just kind of peel it back a little bit and then build it back up to make it look a little bit more natural. Something like that right there. So let that kind of opened it up a little bit better. Oh yeah, that's much better. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of the spruce. I'm def, oh, you know what we should probably do? Hold on. I just chopped down a bunch of trees, but I doubt there are any saplings left. I didn't even think of that. Ooh, I need one more sapling so I can start growing the mega trees. Um, as far as the mob spawner goes and stuff like that, we are eventually gonna tear that down and rebuild it. It's not a big deal. Um, okay, so let's find the center, which I believe would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. So, that's um, seven, one, two, or that'd be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this right here is technically the center spot. There we go. Now, I don't know if I actually want to build in the center. Um, that does not, I guess it does look like it's in the center some. Huh. Okay, here's what we're gonna do, I think. I think instead of doing it like that, we will put two posts like in there, maybe over one. So like four on each side, probably. There we go. Grab these. And then so one, two, three, four. So like right there, maybe. Oh, yeah, that that's going to be much, much better. And then we'll have like the trellis kind of coming over some. So these will probably go up three or four tall like that. Um, and then we'll have like a kind of like a nice little staircase walking in the middle. So let me go ahead and work on this some a little bit off camera. I need to get a farm going. Um, I don't know if I have any bone meal with me. I don't No, I don't think so. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get a farm a tree farm a little bit growing and we're gonna I'm gonna work on this some. Okay, so I've got our little trellis set up. I used um, Spruce fences and then I collected a ton of leaves. I still got a little bit left over uh, And kind of dangled them over a little bit. I kind of like the way that that looks um, So this is where like our base is gonna be let me go. I should have some more fences left So let me grab those we're gonna need to make some fence gates too. So there 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 All right, so we'll do some quick wood. I got a bunch of cobblestone, but I don't think I have enough Initially, I was gonna do like the whole uh, Feng Shui type thing for the base there, but I thought that Because it's a not not because it's a starter base, but because um I don't really have a lot of the other blocks, not to mention it's kind of just a square. I don't think that that would really look good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use cobblestone for now. Remember, okay. Remember, this is a starter base. So we will be probably moving out of here pretty quickly, I think, but we do need somewhere to live. So there we go. <laughs> All right, now that I'm done falling, there's a invisible block there somewhere. There it is. All right, by the way, if you ever have ghost blocks, just right click a ton. There we go. All right, um, so then fences, and I'm gonna fill in the floor in there too. Um, so there's probably like that right there. That should be the center. That is not the center. Uh, this is off by one block, it looks like. So I'll just go here. That'll put us in the middle. Why does that look so weird for, so two, let me make sure that this is all centered up. It looks like it's all centered up. I, th I guess I just thought it looked funny, kind of. I don't know, whatever. All right, so there's our fence. And um, so now that we have sort of a place to live, we'll probably use this back wall right here as storage. Um, and then I'll probably dig in a little cove on this side over here, like right here. There we go, let's get rid of this one too. Something like that. So let me go ahead. I have an iron pickaxe here because I don't have any more diamonds and I need cobblestone. So what I'm thinking about doing is using another block. I'm not sure that I'm going to use cobblestone for this, but to kind of like outline it a little bit. Um, I don't know what else we could use, though, but I'm going to put a bunch like a furnace array right here, probably like in this wall. Um, and over here, I'll probably do enchanting or something. I'm not exactly sure just yet. But I kind of have a good idea, so I'm going to change the floor out and um, get some stuff put in here. 
Well, I was doing some exploring around the base and I actually found Wow, this is a I think this is this a blacksmith house? I don't know if this is a blacksmith house or not, is it? Oh it is. Oh it is. Oh my god, I could so use those diamonds. That's amazing. Oh, there's two of them. Oh my god, this is like the best village house ever. Okay, I don't need any of that. Uh I'll take that. Pickaxe will be good. Kill this guy real fast. There we go. Uh, so let's continue looking. I'm going to grab this bell. All of my villager stuff is back at the savannah or the desert. I mean, sorry about that. Uh, let me up. I don't know. Are there, is there like loot in any of these houses? I don't know. I don't really know much about the spruce ones. They all pretty much look the same. That one's just got a purple bed. Um. Oh, oh, there's another thing here. Wow, this is really cool. I know that some of these are like kind of random. So, and th this one has like an upstairs. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay. That, oh, there's more over here too. Let's check this out really quickly. But there's more I want to show you guys. Hold on. Oh, I thought there was a house over here. There is. What is, what is this? This is a, tr uh, it's a tiny little thing. Why is it so small for? Oh, it's just like a, oh, it's got a blast furnace in it. I see. Okay. Anyways. So let's fly out here now because there's one of these guys. And uh, I haven't really looked around very much. We're pretty far away, like almost 4,000 blocks, I think. I went pretty far away because I didn't really like the area that we were in. It was almost all desert, so grab that. Is there no chest here? Oh, there we go. So we got fortune, fire protection, some obsidian. Okay, I'll leave all that there. So I want to check out here some too because that's like all spruce. So the base is like over that way. So kind of want to see what's over in this direction. Ooh, it's a little laggy right now. I wonder if my render distance 20. Let's turn that down to like 14. There we go. So is there anything else around here? Um, no, we got quite a few good biomes though. And we got a big ocean over here. This ocean is going to be fantastic for us because we'll be able to rebuild our spawner here. All right. I literally saw the mountain face and just like I'm, I'm building there. <laughs> we didn't even really didn't even really look too much, but uh, it looks like we got a pretty good area. I'm pretty excited about this. Oh, I was like, I thought those were other dogs. OK, so we've even got even more mountains over here, too. Wow, this is I got to say, guys, the world that we are in, it has so much spruce. Oh, my God. So how's our lecture doing? Lecture's doing good. OK, um, Okay, well, I'm going to continue to explore, but uh, I think we've done enough for the base stuff today, so we might do something else. I just noticed that I missed a block. Jevin, what are you doing, dude? Okay, let me let me see if I can get it. Ooh, there we go. Got it. Oh, I missed a block down there, too. Wow, I am not a professional at all. Anyways, I just got done collecting some obsidian. We're going to go to the nether. Um, we're like I said, we're kind of far away from the old nether portal, like a couple thousand blocks. So we should be able to um, not have any problems linking whatsoever. I think right here will probably do just fine. Uh, hoping for a good nether spawn. We are still playing hardcore though, so we do got to be a little careful. There we go. Another portal. Awesome. All right. So here we go. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Do I? I do have food. Okay. Just making sure I had food. Nim, 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 nim. Guys, I know how to make a nether portal super, super fast now because I've been speed running. I'm like literally speed in Minecraft now. OK, so no new biomes yet, but we do got some gold. And what's up here? Um, Anything worthwhile? I do like the nether. Oh, God, I forgot. A, I forgot. An oh, I do have an arrow. Didn't think I had one. Oh, they hit hard. All right. You about to get smoked, fool. I'm about to get smoked full. All right. So what is up here? That, I wonder if because those were hoglin or the, the piglins there that mean, oh yeah, I was going to say, so probably get a crimson biome. Do we have a fortress anywhere around here? Does not look like it. Those fortresses are so hard to find now. Oh my God. Okay. So we've got a few different biomes here. Nothing's like super spectacular about that nether spawn, of course, but uh, you know what? I'll take it. So let's go up because that's where our portal was is over here. All right, um, guys, I think that's probably going to do it for today's episode. Let me tell you about my bad luck. <laughs> I have had so much troubles trying to get videos out lately. It is not even funny, dude. Like 
it has been ridiculous but uh hopefully we're back on pace for every other day i don't know man i say that and then i know for a fact something's gonna happen so um but i'm gonna give this series a few more episodes to see how well it does and if it doesn't start improving i'm probably gonna cancel it to be honest with you because um i don't want to hurt my channel and then youtube's algorithm is weird so anyways guys i hope you all have a great day this is ijevin peace out everybody